So recently, you may have heard that Windows 11 24H2 is getting a huge CPU performance boost. And maybe you're thinking, I'm going to upgrade to 24H2 to get that extra performance. But you know what? That's not actually true. Okay, you're not gaining anything. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you're gaining the performance. But there is a little mystery that recently have been unlocked. First, let me tell you something. It's not for the Intel users. Intel is unaffected. You're not going to gain anything if you're on Intel. But if you're on AMD, yes, you will definitely get performance boost. But you don't have to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 to get that extra performance. Again, you may have heard that you know, you're getting the extra performance on AMD CPUs, like 10%, 15%, some even say 35% performance boost. This is actually true. But guess what? <laughs> 23H2 already got this update. And now you don't even have to upgrade to 24H2 just to get this extra performance. Let me tell you something. Up until now, if you're on Windows 11 23H2 and you have the AMD, for some reason, the AMD CPUs have been underclocked or undervolted automatically. So it's not giving you the maximum performance. So that's not happening in 24H2. And that's the reason why, you know, 24H2 is giving you that extra, you know, 10, 15, maybe 35% CPU boost. Okay, but that has been fixed. And now, you know, again, if you want to upgrade to 24H2 because uh, you want that extra juicy performance from that, you don't have to do that. Okay, you can stay on 23H2. So this is the update which will fix that undervolting or underclocked uh, thingy that happens with the AMD on Windows 11 23H2. Yeah, many people and also many, you know, big tech YouTubers also got shocked from the uh, performance boost that they saw in 24H2. You know, there are many videos available. You can go and watch them. So basically now it's also available in 23H2. So and I want to recommend you guys one video. Uh, which I also recently watched. <laughs> this video was, uh, you know, uploaded 16 hours ago from Wex, uh, titled When Windows Picks Favorites. You should watch this video if you want to get deeper, you know, explanation and testing and all that. This video is like almost half an hour long. So yeah, he does the testing and all that. This will explain everything about the new performance boost thingy and all that. So yeah, again, yeah, you know, if you are going to force yourself to upgrade to 24H2 just to get the extra performance from your AMD CPU, you don't have to force yourself. Okay, you can chill because uh, you already got that update in, in the 23H2. I'm actually on 24H2 and I have been facing one issue on my 24H2, which I also made video about, but many people didn't like it. I'm planning to make another video on that. Maybe I'll do a comparison like 23H2 versus 24H2 so people can understand this is actually an issue in 24H2. But yeah, uh, if you're on Intel, you're not losing or gaining anything. It's just for AMD. Okay, again, uh, where is the video. Oh, I closed it. Go and watch this video right now from Wax. You'll understand everything about this situation. You know, the title is very interesting. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. You can go and watch this. This is quite interesting video. Yeah, <laughs> that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to have some discussion about this topic, you can always do the comment and maybe we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.